Hi guys, welcome to Lixia YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to use AWS CloudWatch data source in Grafana. So guys, let's begin the topic. As you can see, this is the grafana.com slash doc documentation and here is the mention what is Grafana data sources, right? So before we start the lab session, we need to understand few points, which is what is Grafana data sources and its requirement. So Grafana support various data sources, including cloud provider like AWS CloudWatch, Azure Monitor, and Google Stack Driver, relational database like PostgreSQL or MySQL and Microsoft SQL, server time series database like uh, InfluxDB, Prometheus, Graphite, and other 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 like uh, Elasticsearch, Loki, and Google BigQuery. So Grafana comes with built-in support for many data sources. If you need other data sources, you can also install one of many data source plugins. If uh, if the plugin you, you need doesn't exist, you can develop a custom plugin also, right? So in short, Grafana data source is any place from which Grafana can pull the data, right? In other words, you don't need to load the data into the Grafana to analyze it. Instead, you should create a connection between Grafana and the data source, right? So after you add and configure data sources, you can use it as it in input for many operations, including query data with Explorer, right? So visualization, it is in panel format and you can create rules and alerts also, right? So in this demo, I will, uh, I will use AWS CloudWatch as a data source for Grafana. So let's begin the lab session and we'll see how we can use AWS CloudWatch data source in Grafana, okay? So I'm close that one, I'm back on my AWS console. So here you can see this is my AWS console and currently I'm in my Mumbai region. And here, let it be refresh first. Okay, so here you can see this is the one instance which is Grafana server and it's in running condition, right? So here I have one Linux machine named Grafana server and uh, where I have already installed my Grafana setup. So if you don't know how to install the Grafana on Amazon EC2 instances, then uh, please go with my previous video where I have already demonstrated how to install Grafana on AWS EC2 instance. I will share, I will also share the link in my description for your references, right? So start with the first tab, which is access to my Grafana dashboard. So let me select that one and copy the public IP, open new tab, colon 3000, right? Because Grafana works on 3000. Let me log in with username is admin and I have saved the password. So I log in with the my upgrade password. Okay, so he, here you can see this is my Grafana dashboard. So uh, let me let me launch uh, another EC2 instance which I want to visualize from Grafana, right? So let me make one more launch instance, and this will be the simple uh, simple EC2 instance, right? So just click and give the name like demo machine which I want to visualize from there. Go with the Amazon Linux key pair if you have the existing one. Yeah, I have existing one. I can go with that one. Otherwise, you can create a new key pair from there. And I go with the default security group, which is the 22. Okay, let it be launch. So I launch one more EC2 instance. So if I go back on instances, here I have Grafana server. I scroll down and demo version. So two machines are ready for me, right? Now move to the next step. Uh, go back on the EC2 dashboard, running, and soon the second machine will be up here. Yeah, demo machine and Grafana server, right? So now move to the next tab, which is attach CloudWatch data sources. So for that one, I need a configure one IAM user. Then we will associate AWS Managed Policy, which will allow read-only access on EC2 instance into CloudWatch. The read-only access to CloudWatch will grant Grafana access to read metrics from CloudWatch. So we will filter on EC2 instances by tag name and therefore we will require read-only access on EC2 instance, right? So uh, let me search IEM from here. Let me open the IEM. Okay, here I am. So let me create a user, right? So click on the user and this user will help Grafana to configure CloudWatch data source and allow to read CloudWatch metrics, right? So let me create a user here. I will give the name G R A F U S Grafana user. Name could be anything. Next, 
attach policy directly. So I'll go with the AWS manage policy. So I need EC2 read only access. Okay, and one more CloudWatch read only access. C R A U D watch read CloudWatch A E C H read only access. Yeah, it is. So I have selected two policy that is AWS manage policy, Amazon EC2 read only access, and CloudWatch read only access. Right? Scroll down, create user user successfully created right we can click on the view user and we can check these two policies are successfully attached with this user right now in the next step we need to generate the security credentials so click on the security credentials and scroll down access key and secret key so click on the create access key i'll go with the command line interface scroll down and confirm go to the next description or Anna access access right and now we have an access key and secret key so let me open my notepad i will write down this even i can download also but i will select it because after later on i will remove this user right so i write down this access key and secret key and i'm not going to download it right click on the done continue yeah so guys i am ready with my user credential now move to the next step, which is the main step, how to add CloudWatch data source in Grafana, right? So I'm back on my Grafana. Let it be refresh. And here you can see that in the home panel, on my left hand side, this is the data source and this is the dashboard. So add your first data source from here. So click on that part. Now we can end number option. We can search it from here and number kind of data sources you can add it, right? And look at that, end number up there. So let me search CloudWatch. So by default, CloudWatch plugins is already installed in Grafana, so nothing you need to do. Now, uh, as we created uh, our IAM user, we need to select access key and secret key, and we need to select the auth provider and provide the access key and secret key and select the AWS region where your AWS source is resides, right? So first of all, provider, I am going with the N number methods are there, like credentials, files, access key, secret key, and SDK, but the common is access key and secret key, so I'll go with that. Now, access key ID. Let me go and copy my access key ID properly. Okay. And now, secret key. Let it be copied from here and paste it here. Perfect. Now, scroll down. Reason. Which reason your resources? So, I have AP South 1, S O U T X South 1. So, this is the only one default reason, but later on, if you add the variables inside the Grafana, you can go with many more resources, right? Or reasons. Scroll down. And if everything is okay, once we have done that, now we need to click select save and test option. So scroll down, save and test. Okay, hopefully everything is good. Yep, perfect. Successfully query the CloudWatch metrics and successfully query the CloudWatch logs API. So I am back on data source and here you can see the CloudWatch is successfully configured and this is the default one, right? Now I'm back on my home. So now move to the final step. Here we have configured our CloudWatch databases. Uh, we have integrated AWS CloudWatch data source with Grafana. And now we, we need to move the final step, which is make our first dashboard, right? So go back on home and here we have a dashboard. So click on the dashboard. Here we have the n number of options. We can create our own custom uh, dashboard. We can import the dashboard, right? So in this demo, I will go with the import dashboard. Later on, I will also let you know how you can make your own custom dashboard. Right. So I click on the import dashboard from grafana.com and for find and import dashboard, click on this link grafana.com slash dashboard. So here we can search and number different different types of dashboards are available. So we can search AC2, press center and number of dashboards are here. Wow, that's good. So let me go with this one, AWS EC2 and here we can see AWS, visualize AWS EC2 and related EBS metrics, okay? And uh, reviews, uh, you can view views from there. And here is the copy ID of clipboard and download the JSON file. So I click on the copy ID. The ID is 617. I needed this ID to import it. So let it be paste here, 617, and click on load, okay? Now loaded, the by default folder is dashboard. Later on, you can also create your own folder and save this dashboard over there. So click import. Wow, that's good. 
here you can see that uh, our dashboard and we can change the time zone from here also let it be set 5 15 minute okay 15 minute or you can say to 5 minute 30 minutes that up to you so first of all we can uh, we can uh, here we can say we can move to the instance id and change the reason what reason you want i want to go with ap scout so let it be search ap scout in my case uh, ap scout 1 okay and inside ap scout 1 the computer micro is here and we have the instances so let me check uh, which is the current instance i am looking for i am looking for let it be refresh i can looking for c 83e or 73ed anybody i can go with that one let me go with 83e right so 83e is this one or i have one more which one is 73ed also so i'll go with 73ed okay here you can see in the cpu utilization of 73ed right that was my grafana server so as soon as the metric will be uploaded the data data will be you can just let from here and you can change the 15 minutes you can change the auto refresh time from here five seconds and here you can see cpu utilization you can filter it out on the basis of t2 macro and you can see the data sources cloud wallet right and if i scroll down here cpu traded dix io dix pipe network network packets and number three packet right so click on the dashboard setting make it editable and scroll down okay let it be save dashboard first save the current time zone and save it so now if i go back on my dashboard here it is my dashboard aws ec2 i can open that one and i can change whatever i want right so 73 ed is this one okay here it is so now you can click on this panel option edit option and you can modify it whatever you want so as soon as you you want to do some activity you can change whatever you want you can modify this dashboard as per your need like graph you can change value you can change color you can change and many more from this select panel option and edit button so if you click on the edit button you can modify it whatever you want right like graph you want to go for gauge bar or state or bar gauge so you can go with like this so that's all about uh, you can do that if you have your panel or you want to go with that one right so guys that's all about this demo i hope you found this very useful for you finally this is the end of this topic and hopefully you enjoyed and you learned things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something is please reach out through my social media link which is mentioned in the description and if you like this video please do not forget to like share subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update Thanks for watching, stay safe and goodbye.